Part 10, Polygons. You will find this on page 179 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Polygons. We learned about triangles and quadrilaterals in the previous section. Triangles and quadrilaterals are examples of polygons. Polygons are two-dimensional, a flat shape, not three-dimensional. Closed, the lines join up. Shapes which have three or more straight sides, straight lines. So this is an example of a polygon because there's straight lines and there's one, two, three, four, five sides. This is not an example of a polygon due to that curve side. This is also not a polygon due to the fact that it's open and not closed. So polygon comes from the Greek. Poly means many and gon means angle, so many angles. Now the type of polygons, you can get a convex or a concave. Now the convex polygon, all the interior angles are less than 180. No angles point inwards. So all these angles will be less than 180 and all the angles will point outwards. But if you look at the concave polygon, so can you see there's an angle bigger than 180? So one or more angles is more than 180, which is a reflex angle. Okay, then you get regular and irregular polygons. This is a regular polygon because all the sides and all the angles are equal. So all the sides and all the angles are equal. This is an irregular polygon. The sides are not equal. So all the sides are not equal and the angles are also not equal. Okay, let's focus on naming of polygons. Polygons are named according to the number of sides. Naming of polygons. Okay, if you, you can search on the internet for the video titled Polygon Song. Listen to the song and write down the names of the following polygons. Okay, but I'm going to just write it in. You can stop the video, first listen to the song, and then continue with the video. Okay, so this was a triangle. This was a quadrilateral. If it's having five sides, we call it a pentagon. Okay, let's just see if I put pentagon. And if it's having six sides, it's an hexagon. And seven sides will be a heptagon. And eight sides will be an octagon. Gone. Nine sides will be a no na gone, and ten sides will be a de ka gone. Okay, so let's go on. A polygon with n sides can be called a n gone. Can you see they all end on gone, gone, gone? So n gone. For instance, a polygon with 16 sides is called a 16 gon. In grade 9, you will only identify a name polygons up to 10 sides. Okay, let's focus on the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. In this chapter, we have learned that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. Can you remember the previous chapter, uh, the previous part? Based on this fact, we can find the sum of the interior angles of all the polygons. Now, basically what we do is we just take, okay, a triangle, we know it's 180 degree. But a quadrilateral, we basically just take it and divide it into triangles. So how many triangles will there be? For, uh, two. There's four sides, but two triangles. So it's two times 180. So it's actually four minus two times 180. So if I come to this this one, which is the pentagon, okay, let's just fill it in. Okay, I'm first going to fill in the sides. So pentagon is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So and and then we're just going to call this one n sides. So if I the number of triangles, now count one, two, three. It's three triangles. One, two, three, four. Just make sure that you start from one vertex, one point, and then draw your triangles. Don't let that lines cross, otherwise it will not work out. So one, two, that will be four. 
that will be 5. That will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That will be 7. And that will be 8. Okay. Now, what can I see if I look at the pattern? I can see it's always 2 less. Can you see? 2 less. So, I can make it just N minus 2. Because it's 2 less than the number of sides. The amount of triangles. Now, if I must find the sum of the interior. So, for this one, I'm just going to use another color. Then I'm just going to say 3 times 180. Which is actually, I could have just used this one. 5. 5. Minus 2 times 180. Okay, so what will I use for this one? This one is 4. I use this value. So 4 times 180. But I could have actually just say, use the number of sides and always subtract 2. Because it's always 2 less than the number of sides. And then this one will be 5 times 180. Uh, which will be? 7 minus 2 times 180. We will now write the answers in. Okay. And then this one will be 6 times 180. And it will be 8 minus 2 times 180, actually. This one will be 7 times 180, which will actually be 9 minus 2 times 180. And this one will be 8 times 180 which is actually 10 minus 2 times 180. And this one, okay, now be careful. This will be N minus 2. I'm just going to write that one. So it's going to be N minus 2 times 180. And that is the formula how you will work out some of the interior angles. So from this investigation, we see that the sum of the interior angles of an n-sided polygon is just the number of sides minus 2 times 180. That's the amount of triangles. And then you can basically just write it down. Okay, let's go to the next one. So let's look at an example. So if I look at this example... Calculate the size of an interior angle of a regular hexagon. So the sum of the interior angles is just n minus 2 times 180. So 6 minus 2 times 180, which will be 720. Now, I said calculate the size of an interior angle. That means one interior angle. So basically, I will just, because I know how many sides are there, 6, all the angles are equal. It's a regular, regular hexagon. So I just divide by 6 and I just get 120. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number B as well as number, um, let's just see, C. Just do number B as well as number C. Okay. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So let's start. Let's start. We are at try now, and we are at 11. Okay, so calculate the size of an interior angle of the following figures. A regular heptagon. Now, uh, you must learn that the heptagon will be have seven sides. So basically, you're first going to find the sum of the interior, that's number B, the interior angles of an heptagon. And what is that going to be? The formula is n minus 2 times 180, but now I know that it's going to be 7 minus 2 times 180, and that is going to give me 900. But that's the sum. I want 1. So 1, one interior angle is just going to be the 900 divided by 7, and this is a decimal 128.6 degrees. That's what one interior angle of an hectagon will be equal to. And then let's look at number C. Again, the regular octagon. I know octa is 8. It's like an octopus. It's also having 8 legs, so it's 8. So again, if I say the sum, 
of the interior angles of an octagon. Okay, so basically, again, start with the formula n minus 2 times 180. So it's going to be 8 minus 2. That's the amount of triangles that will form 6. So if I say 6 times 180, I will get 108. Oh, let's just rewrite that one. 1080 degrees. And then again, one interior angle of that octagon. I'm just going to move it a little bit up. And that is going to give me 1080. And I just divide it by 8 because there's 8 angles. And that will give me 1. Let's just rewrite that. 1, 3, 5 degrees. And that will be my final answer.